EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, longtime foes square off in the NFC East as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Washington Commanders. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway from FedEx Field. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Start on the ground with Gibson. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. On first down, right back to Gibson. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, a run with Gibson. Four yards, the pick up, first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. First and ten, it's Gibson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Once more, Gibson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back two-yard losses, and that sets up a tough third and 14. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game. And clearly, something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Only 29 yards on the punt there, definitely not his best. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. In motion, Slayton. He'll get it here as they run the end around. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. I'm not sure that you'd call it a trick play, but they definitely showed some imagination there. I wouldn't be surprised if they want to come back and show this play a few more times before this one is over. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. There's a nice move. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 
23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. A handoff, Barkley running left. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Third and five. Again, it's Barkley. Treads him with a stiff arm. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. And now here's a carry heading left. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. On second down, here's Barkley. Powers passed him at the five. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. No score after one on EA Sports. Giants have a 7 nothing lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. At their own 11 yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7 nothing is the score as they begin with a first down. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. First down, the 23-yard line. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Fourth down. Howell. 
Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. Well, you think about it, though, that interception, great for his stats, but bad for field position. It was fourth down. Yeah, terrific observation. If there is going to be a silver lining, and this is what he'll plead when it comes time to watch it again, hey, it was just like a punt, right? So we end up taking possession of the ball. But you're exactly right about it. Should have slapped it down. Field position would be better for his offense. But how many times do you get a chance to make an interception that you turn it down? That's when your instinct kicks in and you take the football. In this case, a better decision would have been to knock the ball down. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down the pitch goes to Barkley and he'll lose yardage here back at the 47 a loss of a yard and it brings up fourth well they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football so to me this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there run the ball see if they can pick up something instead they were thrown for a loss and here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try to put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in. First down now, but that clock rolling. Howell out of the shotgun. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Howell trying to get his offense to hurry up and get set. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. Defensively a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second down, Hal now. That's complete, Terry McLaurin with it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 45-yard line. Gibson here running out of the gun, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Howell from the gun. And his throw here is incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Howell throwing on third down here. Slings this deep for McLaurin. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. It's Deontay Banks with it. And the Giants are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they may be content to take this 7-0 lead into the locker room. We'll see. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Throwing Jones. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And the Commanders are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. 
Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. This one left side caught by Gibson. And he goes out right around the 39. One last shot before the break. Howell slings this deep for McLaurin. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. They'll come up now third and three. Now a turn and a give to Barkley. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. They'll run with Barkley. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now they go play action with Howe. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And the Giants are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. The last time out, Charles, they opted to go for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it. But the defense held strong, and they hold on to this slim lead. And how about as the defense ran off the field, how about the greeting they got from their teammates on the sideline? They kept that narrow lead by their nice play. Now, let's pay it off for them, right? Punch it in on this drive, take that lead back up to two possessions. That would be a nice little thank you gift to them. Okay, here we go. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. They'll go to Barkley again. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Jones. This one goes down wide for Barkley. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They call it a loss of a yard there. And it'll be fourth down. And they'll run for it with Barkley. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 
A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. I love those plays. Fourth and one, that's who wants it more, this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. They keep it with Barkley on first down, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety and being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Second and nine. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Back to throw. Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Paris Campbell, 29 yards. And the Giants are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Gano the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you. Let's go. 13 yards remaining on second down. And Howe will throw it. And now here is another interception. And they are going to... Oh, don't quit, man. Come on. You're going to quit, bro. 